that. I guess I need those notes on the table, the contracts. I found out Esmero's secret, and I, and I think I'll never be able to forgive him. Even though I love him so much, my heart is tearing apart from the pain. Uh, but he did such a stupid thing. What? What secret does he have, guys? What secret does Esmero have? He has a secret. Ah, uh, manicure clippers. He has a secret. Is this going to shock his fans? Ah, uh, Noka. You know what? <laughs> that might work on this. The anti stapler. No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. Does it need other wiring problems? What? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't what what did I say? I just activated Alexa guys. Why? <laughs> I didn't even call her name here. Uh with the help of different weapons, defeat all the monsters. The help of all the weapons Uh oh I know what this is. No oh Oh what the Oh, huh? what is happening here? <laughs> oh, that's what. Oh, I see now. I see. I see, guys. It's a sequence here. So this is number one. The mummy is number one. What do we use against a mummy? Uh, needle and thread. <laughs> do we untangle the bandages? But do we have a bandage here. A weapons like. Okay, let's take a look here, guys. We have Cthulhu. What do we use against Cthulhu? The planet? <laughs> this one is a mirror, guys. Werewolf is going to be garlic. Oh no, no, not the garlic. Uh, vampire is garlic. Werewolf? Werewolf is the moon, that's the moon. So moon mirror, could that be the sword? I'm not sure. So moon garlic sword mirror. We have the yarn ball and this piece of fabric here. Oh, this makes no sense here, guys. Which one do I use against Cthulhu? No, I think the moon is for the werewolf, Ilya. Welcome, Ilya, by the way. Yarn for the Minotaur, why? Because of the maze? You have to go to inside the maze? Or maybe you're right. Which one is for the mummy? There, okay, there are two. There is a, a row of fabric here, and there is a ball of yarn. Fabric is for the mummy. The yarn is for the Minotaur. Garlic, the moon. Mira. The sword is for Cthulhu. Okay, let's try that. I don't know, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know.
Is that right? Oh, that is correct. Wow. I wonder why. <laughs> we use bandage against the mummy. We wrap it even tighter so we cannot move. <laughs> He already has bandages around his whole body, so we wrap it even more with bandages, guys. <laughs> so he will be immobile. <laughs> That's how we deal with the mummy. <laughs> that is just odd. Uh, ribbon. That is very odd. <laughs> Don't forget what is he is is Mero evil? <laughs> what what is this secret that he has, guys? Yeah, you got that one correct. Yes, Minotaur and uh, uh the ball of yarn, right? You got that one, Ilya. Skull amulet. Umbrella clock hands. Esmero, what is your secret? Is your secret going to disappoint your fans? Esmero gained magical powers. He signed a contract. He signed a contract. Oh. With the spirit, spirit of Mardi Gras, guys. He signed a contract with the spirit! Elizabeth, the opportunity to return home. A sparrow gained magical power. Using specially shaped chips with the symbols, arrange them on the field so that the correct symbols are in the open parts of the chips. Is there a way to rotate this or not? Right there. I will never forget that mistake, for I am Esmero, and I myself have once contracted the spirit of Mardi Gras. I was fortunate enough to be able to break the contract with them, and though I am now obliged to make sure that the spirit does not break free every year. Oh, okay, so he's not evil, guys. Aha. Uh -huh. At least now he's doing good, he's now making sure that... The spirit is not roaming free. He made a mistake. But now he's atoning for that mistake. So that's good, guys. Esmero is still good. But he did gain magical powers now. <laughs> uh, umbrella. I think your fans will love you even more. That's metal. <laughs> okay, cl clock hands. By rotating the dial and changing the numbers in places, build the correct order of the numbers on the dial. Correct order of the numbers on the dial. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> That's the puzzle. Right. Where is number 12?
one. Oh, oh, no, not that one. Four. Five. Seven. Again, nine. Perfect. Access card. Everything for Mardi Gras store. Is that the name of the store? <laughs> Everything one dollar. A dollar store. That hat is 50 bucks. $43 mask. Mardi Gras mask. The pearl necklace, 35 bucks. It's a fake pearl necklace, guys. <laughs> the jar, the vial of unknown liquid is 18 bucks. Alright. Is everything here free? Is <laughs> inside this box? I really like to talk to Miss Marrow to discuss everything. Uh, to explain that I was very scared then, and that's why I left him. But he's very proud that he became Archmage of Forbidden Magic, you know? It's unlikely he will want to make up. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe he still loves you. <laughs> Why don't you talk to him? Cash or just a handle? Oh, communication is key in relationship. Yes, yes, Yuzuni. You're right. A heavy figurine. Cosmetic bag. As metal, he got the costume, and we have the makeup. So there's still the problem with the wake, huh? What do do I need to comb the wake? <laughs> Maybe watch, just wash it, guys. It looks 
really dirty right now. It looks oily. The person who wore that the wig last didn't clean it perfectly, guys. <laughs> the kind of portrait is only done to someone who is very dear. Did Juliet really drink poison from the glass? Likely, it's just a prompt. The glass? Where is the glass? Is that the glass? In the old days, the actress had no shortage of fans. Why else would she have such a gorgeous bouquet? I know this brand of makeup. They specialize in stage makeup for the others. Seems like every actor started out with puppet theater, and Miriam is no exception. I've heard of the others resorting to using magic, but this is the first time I've seen the magic wand thrown in plain sight. There's no sadder tale in the world than the tale of broken hearts. Broken hearts? I am sorry, Esmeral, but we need to break up your Miriam, because I know your secrets. All this strange love for the light of spotlight, is there really not enough of this of it on stage? With the event of air conditioning, fans can only be seen in the theater. This is the kind of the era used by many elves to disguise their years. Many artists light candles before a performance to set themselves up for good luck. Candles, not incense sticks though. Handles. Through those binoculars, you can see the beautiful game, but even through them, you can see the fate of feelings. Hair dye. Oh, dyeing the hair. Oh, are there words on the table? Alright, does that look like the spear of Mardi Gras? Is that what he looks like? As metal, that's great! Your makeup is flawless. You look like the spirit of Mardi Gras. It's getting a little scary, you know? Uh, let me tell you something about the Mardi Gras spirit and me. Alright, I know your secret, I know. <laughs> Already. Some of the round pieces in the image. We found out your secrets. You signed a contract with him. See, when I was young and foolish, I made a deal with the spirit. Back then, I didn't know about forbidden magic yet. I was a simple boy who fell head over heels in love with the elf girl Miriam. And she told me about magic, and I wanted to become a warlock for her. Athena! Hello, welcome to the stream. The previous Archmage of Forbidden Magic saved me from the deal and started teaching me Forbidden Magic. And Miriam, uh, she left me when she found out the links I went to Forest to meet together. I really, I really like to re reconcile with her, but she doesn't want to see me. Oh, really? I can help. <laughs> Let me call her up. Give me her number. I'd like to reconcile with her. Well, I'm sure you still can. 
Oh, thank you. Actually, I've always wanted to hear that. I... I was trying to make up with her. Is Bryce Mile is back? Nice. Come on, let's go back to the movie theater. We need to find more of the fake names. I return to the crowd. I return to the crowd. My magical doppelganger is about to disappear. And that would be very embarrassing. I guess <laughs> doppelganger is one of his magical spells. <laughs> That is very convenient, guys. That kind of spell. New task: convince the people who have tried. Oh, we not? Are we done with the side quest? Maybe. <laughs> Do I need the snow? What is the skull? The golden skull for guys? I don't know. A lighter. Ice cream. Water pots. Is that our handle? Nice. Chizo. People cannot learn about magic, otherwise they will panic, and a war between the worlds will begin. Yeah, we all know how awful people can be when they have powers, guys. Wires. Fishing rod, bike chain, Bike chain? Uh, oh, music box! Right, I forgot, guys. Right, time for another puzzle. Uh, swap neighboring pieces of the circular maze until it is completely assembled. So... Does it rotate? Maybe only doing the inner section here for now. What is correct? One, two. Ah, 
Ah. Uh, so now this time the outer circle is our home base here. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Double. Set the double. Double. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Is that the one? One. 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 It's all ones here, this one. 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 Lots and lots of ones. Hold on, this one is wrong. One in the middle. Two. Two in the middle. One. Done. Gear wheel. Wasn't there a a uh, a note or words on the table here somewhere? Where is the table? Okay, USB drive. Audio recording system. There are some notes that we have to copy down somewhere. Miriam also does magic, guys. <laughs> Just like uh, as battle here. Find the differences between backgrounds. Copy down those words. I think they are here. On this table. Right. As Meadow said he made the deal with the spirit of Mardi Gras for me, it sounds like a joke. I do not know what to think about it. Of course, he is now an archmage of forbidden magic, and without monstrous willpower, he would not have been able to master these powers. He is kind, calm, and brave. He broke the contract with the spirit thanks to his mentor, and is now looking for a new student to teach him forbidden magic. I'd be glad leaving him then. I miss his medal. Then go back to him. <laughs> you still love him. Time for you two to get back together. And support each other. The movie Golden Madness 1987, Dr. Harrison Shenanigans, cartoon, and the blank disc. Uh, I've seen the second half of this somewhere. I think inside the theater. Or somewhere. <laughs> inside a store. Wasn't there a second half? Yeah, the list. Uh, place the boxes on the size by uh, on the size by size from smaller to larger. The larger should be at the bottom. Place the boxes on their size by size. Thirty two. Uh, 
32 is going to be at the bottom. All right. Okay, I know what's going on here. Does it matter which side I put them on? So 32 is 16. And four goes in an order. You can record audio of very scary sound with special programs. Alright, let's get the blood boiling in the veins! Alright, alright. It's time to put on a show, guys. A good show. <laughs> we need the correct sound bites. Alright, I think that is the final item that we need for the. Oh, we cannot use it here. Why? Do I need to play somewhere else? Is there a player out here? <laughs> I thought that was a cassette tape player. Does this play CD? No, it does not. There's no slot for the CD on that cassette tape player. <laughs> uh, we calm the crowd. What? It's just a projection? But the spirit looks so real. Wait, I mean, it, it could just be a prank, I guess. You did such a wonderful job making this all possible. Okay, all that's left is to finish what we started. Show them our projection, and they'll finally calm down. This cannot just go away, others are counting on us, we've got to calm them down. Calm them down. Okay, now we can combine. Combine this with the projector. That's the whole setup, guys. The counterfeiter is kid. <laughs> the counterfeiter. Time to put on the show. A good show. Arrange the skulls on the field so that the rays coming from them overlap all the people. <laughs> Make sure they can all hear and see the show, guys. Level 3 Done Thirteen points We're not trying to do zero points here for this game guys, it's the other game <laughs> The City Legends one <laughs> Don't worry, you just attended a test of the latest newly developed projector. It was a prank in honor of Mardi Gras. Oh, just a prank? Whew, I was so scared. Oh man, I knew it. Ghosts and magic don't exist, and everything has a logical explanation. 
thank magic they believed our explanation. I think with a costume like yours, you can safely be declared the honored guest of Mardi Gras. Have fun during the rest of the party. Look, I just wanted to say, I decided to take your advice and I apologize to Miriam. And she said she missed me too. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but you're the only reason I decided to get back together with her. You don't know how much it means to me. Thank you. And that is Magic City Detective. The Carnival Begins by the mini games. He's a bonus game, guys. He's done. Hey, Renata, welcome to the stream. They all look real excited. Yes. <laughs> they were mesmerized by my performance. And it's the spirit of Mardi Gras. Moving on to the next bonus game, guys. I'm going to... Shift gears to high gears. <laughs> Trying to do this as fast as I can, yeah. Sofja Kravchenko, Artem Sivkov, Chloe Mainly Boot, Eric Ransom, Sky Miller, 